All right, this is lecture number one. This is Introduction to Computer Science. And what we're going to talk about today, different layers of the computer system. The first layer we're going to talk about is the information layer, which reflects the way we represent information on a computer. So for example, with computers, all information is represented as binary. It's either a one or a zero. The next thing we're going to talk about is the hardware layer. The hardware layer consists of all the basic physical components of a computer. So for example, when you're talking about the, the actual hard drive, anything that's physical that you can touch, and it also controls the flow of electricity in this area. The next area we're going to talk about is the software. Well, not really software, it's really the programming layer, which deals with the software. And this is where you give instructions to the computer on exactly what you want the computer to do. Anytime you play a video game, anything that instructs the computer that's the programming layer and also allows you to you know manage the data of the computer system. Next one is operating systems. And we're talking about Windows, we're talking about XP, we're talking about Linux, we're talking about Mac, even talking about the iPhone operating browsers. These operating systems basically controls all the resources of a computer system. The next layer we're going to talk about is application layer. This is where you use computers to solve real world problems. So for example, we're talking about video games, we're talking about Microsoft Word, anything that a computer programmer can write, this is what we'll use to solve some type of real world problem. And the last layer we'll be talking about, when I say talking about, this is what we're talking about in the entire um, course. We're talking about communication layer. This is where you connect with people. This is where you're talking about Facebook. MySpace don't really exist as much anymore, but you're talking about Twitter. Anything that allows you to connect to another person through a computer, that's a communication level. Now, there's two different groups of computer programmers. There's system programmers and there's application programmers. System programmers are developers that actually develop tools to make programs easier for people to use. So, so for example, somebody will write a software tool to allow you to build a website easier. Those are system programmers. Application programmers are people who actually use the tools to solve business and science problems. So for example, first somebody writes an Excel software package and then the application program will use Excel to write all kind of cool programs in Excel to do different things. So that's the two different groups of computer programmers. Now of those different sub areas we can see we got in the system programmers area we got people that do algorithm and data structures, we got programming languages, we got architecture, this is architecture in terms of software. We got numerical and symbolic computations. We got operating systems and we got software met methodology and engineering. And those are the system programmers. And these are the people that write the tools that other people use. Now the application programmers, now their job is they deal with database bases, information retrieval, artificial intelligence, robots, human computer communications, graphics, organizational information and bioinformatics. And this list really can go on and on, but it's just an example of some of the things that application um, programmers would, would do. Now as a computer scientist here at Morehouse College, you see our, our course map, and most of you guys have started here in, in 106. And once you finish at 106 this semester, you're going to take 110, which is programming one, and then you move to programming two, and then you'll keep moving through our actual curriculum. Up here you see is our math track. This is this is basic algebra, this is pre-cal, knows these two are grayed out. These two actually doesn't really count towards your major. These are just prereqs you gotta get to till you get to Cal one. And then also you got up here you got your science track. You know, you got physics, you got biology, you got a lot of mathematics here. Cal one, cal two, set theory problem stat linear algebra so when you really finish you gonna almost have enough credits to be a math major math minor excuse me you really want class away from being a math minor and, and basically just follow this track throughout our curriculum all right so that ends our lecture for our introduction to computer science so as we said we're going to cover all those different operations all those different layers in computer science as we go throughout this entire course